Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Soil and Margaritas. My name is Roxana and I'm so glad that you're here. So one of the things that I'm going to be trying this year indoors during the winter is trying to save some cuttings from coleus. I have never done this, but I know people who do this every year. Uh, a few weeks before their first frost, they go out, take some coleus cuttings, they put them in water, simply glass of water and they start rooting in that water and that's how they're able to keep them inside they put them in a cute little planter indoors with some soil and they overwinter that way um, coleus in my zone is not a perennial plant i know for some of you you can keep coleus all year long in your gardens outside but here in zone 5 in central indiana once the uh, cold weather arrives, coleus, along with a bunch of other plants, they just die. They don't come back every year. So I really, really love this plant. It has like a nice pink, um, pink and lime green color to it. And I really wanna try to save some cuttings from it. And it seems to be pretty easy. I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. And then hopefully here during the winter, I'll give you an update indoors with how they're doing. But it's super, super simple. Um, one of the things that I, I know for sure that everybody seems to agree is that, super windy, is that when you make your cuttings, you don't really wanna start with really, um, really long plants. What you wanna do is you wanna try to stay uh, short because once this, the plant starts rooting, if you cut this piece, and you start rooting this piece, the plant is just going to become leggy. Apparently that's what people say. So I am going to start by cutting it a little bit short and taking some leaves. But the part where I took the leaves off, it's where the roots will be coming through. I put them in clear water, give it a few uh, weeks, and then hopefully we'll start seeing some roots. You don't have to put it in a clear container, you can use Anything that holds water, I just like to use the clear because I can see how clean the water stays. I will be changing this water every couple of days or so. Um, but hopefully here in a few days, I'll start seeing some roots. Let me bring you along to see how I'm cutting the pieces. Again, you don't wanna cut like really long at the bottom. I'm just going to go right below where two leaves come off. That makes sense, you see, right below. And I'll be removing about two or three sets of leaves. I'm just gonna leave these two here. And then these guys will be going in water. It is super easy, really, really easy. And like I mentioned, I wanna start a bunch of cuttings because um, I don't know, I'm going to try to do a bunch of indoor plants this year and hopefully it works. Once I start recording, that's when my neighbors decide to come out and play. So I have another set here of coleus. I have fresh water and I'm going to be doing the same thing. Cut right below where two leaves will start. Mm, gonna see if this guy starts here. This guy is just going to go in water. Super easy. Okay, so like this guy, this is really tall. I'm going to be cutting the bloom. It's right below where two leaves start. Uh, there you go. And hopefully here in two to three weeks, we'll start seeing some roots. Another one of the plants that I'm going to be trying to take cuttings from is this gorgeous sweet potato vine. I absolutely love, love this 
uh, color and the, the shape of the leaves. Uh, this is the one that I show you in one of the, my past videos that it was blooming. It was blooming this purple petunia-like flowers, which I, I really, really enjoy. So I know some people that do this and they have great success with them. So I am going to see if I can keep some of these as well indoors. When you cut your sweet potato vines, the idea is the same, just like the coleus. You're going to find a vine. You're not going to get the babies from the vine. You're going to get a main vine and then you're going to cut below, below one of the leaves. And then you'll start removing the leaves from that stem. And hopefully in a couple of weeks, you'll get some roots over here on this part. I actually did take some cuttings last week. It has actually been about five, six days. And I put them in water and I'll show you how they're doing. These are the ones that I took last week. And I got a few of them. And as you can tell, hopefully you can tell from the video, I got some roots already coming there from where I removed the leaves. I took basically three stems, as you can tell there, and that's where I have been keeping in water. And again, I changed the water every two to three days and they are getting roots. So here pretty soon, I'm going to get a cute planter and then I am going to put them in some potting mix so that I can keep them inside. Oh my goodness, these weeds are taking over. I'll come back to it later. Okay, so before we continue with the main video, you guys, I just wanna take a second and thank you all, every single one of you, for subscribing to the channel because we reached one, wait, not 1,000, <laughs> because we reached 10,000 subscribers. Um, I am so glad, I am so happy. I know it's not about the numbers, but it's just nice to see that, you know, people enjoy the content that I'm making and they enjoy the videos as well. So I am really happy for that. So. I didn't want to put anything on the title of the video about a giveaway because you know you get all kinds of crazies just trying to get the giveaways um but hopefully if you got to this part hopefully you can participate basically i am going to give in away two things to one person in the u.s i give certificate for buying plants shrubs perennials anything that you like and also a gift certificate for buying seeds two of my favorite companies uh, that you'll be hopefully able to enjoy as well and make your favorite so all you have to do is just leave me a comment below telling me what kind of i don't know coleus is your favorite plant as long as you do that you'll be able to enter in the giveaway and thanks again for being here Again, it seems to be pretty easy taking uh, cuttings from coleus or sweet potato vines. Like I mentioned, I never done this before, but I, uh, I talked to a few people that do this every year and they have good success with them. So I'm hoping that I do okay. Again, I will try to update you during the winter times to let you know how the planters are doing indoors. I might even, if the water cooperates outside, I might even show you how I put this uh, in pattern mix here soon, probably next week, I don't know, but um, they're doing great, so I am excited. Thank you for being here, and until the next video, you guys.